This episode is powered by Safety FM. The following program is rated MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Finally, show with the balls to call it like it is. Rated R Safety Show on Safety FM. Countdown to audio torture. The Rated R Safety Show starts in three, two, one. Ah, let the eardrum pain begin. Forget the corporate bullshit. This is the Rated R Safety Show with your host, Dr. Uh, it doesn't matter who the host is. Well, hello and welcome to an all new Rated R Safety Show. Today is Monday, September the 16th, day 259th of the year, and only 106 days left. We're so close away from being to double digits. I can't wait to see what happens there. Anyways, I was told to make reference to this, so I'll make reference relatively quick. We are now coming to you by a fully renewable energy source. The whole studio is renewable power. So what does that mean? It means that we're solar powered or we're backup energy. We're not using the grid, even though I think the fucking internet's coming from the grid. But hey, that's just my my opinion. What do I know about this shit? Anyways, how are you? How was your weekend? Hopefully you had all kinds of fun and you were able to do something extravagant, extraordinary, you know, all the fancy words you're supposed to be saying after you come off the weekend. Anywho, no ranters today. I know today's Monday, but you'll be okay without the rant. A lot of information to cover of what occurred over the weekend, so we're going to get to that right away. That way we can get it started. Here we go. More sarcasm than a Mortal Kombat beatdown. Rated R Safety Show. Here is the news on the Rated R Safety Show. So coming right off the bat, did you see that the BBC is reporting that a few theories from scientists are explaining why young people today are increasingly allergic to common foods and substances? First, they are too hygienic without infections to fight. The body immune system turns against common things, common things that interact with whether it's milk or pollen or sesame, sesame seeds or whatever, and develops a specific resistance to it. Alternately, with the raging vitamin D deficiency from not having any time outside, they are lacking nutrients to fight either. So now we're finding out right away that a lot of people are having issues because they don't spend enough time outside. Well, if you came into my little cave here, because it's definitely a cave because it's so freaking dark. I don't even have any kind of light penetrating inside of the studio, but that's how it works. A lot of people are complaining that, hey. You don't have enough time in the sun. So maybe you should um, up your vitamin D, you know, take some of those vitamin pills things. You know, that might work out for you. Anyways, let's continue on. Antonio Brown's departure for New England helped the Patriots to a huge victory over Miami. They leveled the Dolphins 43 to zero. Meanwhile, the woman who accused Brown of rape will meet the NFL officials today to discuss her charge as the league moles how to handle it. Now, I think it's funny that the news story starts off with, hey, this guy did so great during a football game, and I'm going to tell you I don't care about football. Then all of a sudden, oh, side note, by the way, uh, the lady that accused him of rape, okay, we'll make that a secondary factor. Who writes news stories like that? Shouldn't the news story be, hey, an alleged football player they did X and then make the reference. I don't know. I just read it how it comes. Did you hear about this small town in Meigs, Georgia, that they have decided to get rid of the police department due to budget cuts? The city council voted to end the police services for the 2000 residents. Chief Antonio Mango says the move came amid budget cuts, but tells the local news that there's $12,000 in the budget that could definitely be used for protective services. So because of budget cuts inside of a 2,000 resident small town, you're going to get rid of the fucking police department? Come on. Who's respecting the blue? We need to respect the blue. Come on, man. So who are you going to call if something goes wrong? I don't get it. 
So we keep on talking about China and China and China, and today is not going to change. Today is going to be a China day. The Chinese government is increasingly leveraging its exit ban policy to prevent visitors from leaving the country. Oh, yeah, you heard me correctly there. That's according to USA Today. There are no hard numbers of the number of Americans or any other nationality trapped there for an undetermined period of time. Though the communist country has used this tactic, analysts believe that they're using it more now in response to the ongoing trade war with the United States. So do go, my friends. I would definitely not be visiting China for the time being because of that. But that is just me. You can do whatever you want. That's just my opinion. Anyways, let's continue on. Drone strikes on Saudi Arabia oil fields have crippled the country's petroleum production capabilities. The U.S. State Department says that Iran conducted the attacks in direct attempt to destabilize the world's oil market. Isn't that crazy? It gets crazier and crazier every freaking day as we read and go over some of this information. Let's continue down the path. A 1.25 million solid gold toilet on display at the Museum of Winston Churchill's birth home has been stolen. Yeah, I did say a toilet. The piece has previously been used in displays in New York. It was functionally set up in the system's plumbing, so its removal did cause quite a bit of water damage. One man has been arrested in connection to the theft, but has also not been charged. We're talking about a $1.25 million shitter. So the crapper that these people are using is more expensive than most people's homes. But this thing was stolen. How do you lose a $1.25 million toilet? Sounds like a pretty shitty scenario to me. The Federal Reserve will likely cut the interest rate another quarter of a point, according to Chair Jerome Powell, says the economy is strong, but the decrease is to push against headwinds that point towards potential recession. Well, I guess that's a good thing, depending on how you want to look at it. Not the potential recession part, duh. Yeah, I said the duh, not the recording this time. You would think that it would go without saying, don't kiss your chickens. Yeah, don't kiss your chickens. The Center of Disease Control is encouraging chicken owners not to interact with their chickens at all, especially if they're keeping them out of their homes. It is a concern, apparently, as salmonella outbreaks are popping up across the country. From the ABC15.com, the CDC reports that on August 23rd, there has been more than 1,000 cases of salmonella from the outbreaks across 49 states. Two people have died from the infection and 175 have been hospitalized. So are you going around there and kissing your chickens? Come on, kissing your chickens. I want you to think about that. How lonely are you that you're going around kissing your own chickens, dude? Crazy, crazy stuff. Anyways, let's continue down the path. We're going to get into one of my favorite parts of the show. And that, no, 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 I'm jumping ahead. I forgot to tell you about two other important things. Let me get to it real quick. Let's talk about the lottery. No winner for Saturday night's Powerball drawing. Wednesday's night drawing will be for $70 million jackpot for a estimated $47.6 million cash payout. No winner for Tuesday's night Mega Million drawing either. Tonight's drawing will be for $192 million or $130.7 million payout. So let me tell you about the weekend box office because I almost forgot about saying that. So let's take the top five. The Lion King is made $3.6 million. That's down from the number four spot from last week. Good Boys made $4.3 million. That's down from number three from the previous week. Angel has fallen. $4.4 million. That's down from spot number two. At number two this week, at $33.2 million, was the movie Hustle. And that, I believe, is the one with Cardi B and J-Lo. But I'm trying to remember because now I don't. And staying at the number one spot, of course, for the second week in a row, is It Chapter 2 at $40.7 million. And that stayed at number one across the board. So I guess that's good, depending on how you want to look at it. Anywho, anywho, anywho. 
Let me tell you about the days of the years that you can celebrate. And it's a long list today. So let's go through it. Mexican Independence Day. And Bradstreet Day. International Day for the Preservation for the Ozone Layer. Mayflower Day. National Collect Rocks Day. National Cinnamon Raisin Bread Day. National Day of Prayer and Remembrance for the Victims of Hurricane Katrina. National Plato Day. National Stay Away from Seattle Day. How's that even a day? I guess I celebrate that day quite a lot. National Guacamole Day. National Tattoo Story Day. Step Family Day. Trail of Tears Commemoration Day. Teenager Workout Day. Wrinkled Raincoat Day. And Working Parents Day. What kinds of days are this, man? Really? That's 15 freaking days you can celebrate in just this one day. Day, 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 day. Like I always try to remind you, or remind myself to remind you, please follow us on your favorite podcatcher. Come out to our website, safetyfm.com. Like us, love us, do whatever you want with us, but make sure that you go ahead and click the like button. And the other side, don't forget to listen to our streaming platform, safetyfm.com and at safetyfm.live. I know who you are. You know who I am. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Duh. Safety in a way never heard of before. The Rated R Safety Show on Safety FM. The views and opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the host and its guest and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the company. Examples of analysis discussed within this podcast are only examples. They should not be utilized in the real world as the only solution available as they are based only on very limited and dated open source information. Assumptions made within this analysis are not reflective of the position of the company. No part of this podcast may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form or by any means, mechanical, electronic, recording, or otherwise, without prior written permission of the creator of the podcast, Jay Allen. This episode has been powered by Safety FM.